Hello, hello, Virgo, Libra, Cusp, Cross Watchers. Welcome everyone to my channel. I am Tiarka Love. How are you all doing? Okay, so Virgo, Libra, Cusp, Cross Watchers, it's time for me. Well, it's time for me to get some messages for Virgo, Libra, Cusp for the month of June in love. Okay. Please know that these will be general messages. They may or may not resonate with all of you beautiful individuals. If you find messages here that resonate, please feel free to take them with you. If you find messages here that does not resonate with you at all, then just please do leave them here on the table to allow someone to pick them up that they will resonate with, okay? All right, y'all. So, again, I am Tiarka Love. I do have a candle business, um, Tiarka Love Candles, okay? Um, I do have a Facebook shop. Um, if you all would like to check me out on my social, other social media platforms, I do have the links in the description box. Y'all on TikTok, I'll be dancing on Facebook. I got a lot of pictures of um, my family and, you know, we do memes and we do videos. I have a lot of um, videos that will make you laugh, you know, and it's just, y'all check me out on my other platforms, okay? All right, y'all, so let's get started. Virgo, Libra, Cusp. All right, let's see. For the month of June in love, we're going to get to the core of things, okay? And then we're going to move on up to the surface to see what is going on with you all. All right, so the situation here when it comes to love, you have the Knight of Cups. Uh, this is uh, Pisces energy here. You're feeling, or Virgo Libra Cusp, you're someone who's very emotional, romantic, and enthous enthusiastic here. All right? You are someone that fall in love with the just falling in love okay um there's a need for you all to balance your emotions all right and in the month of june you could be receiving an invitation to a social event okay now the energy that is surrounding you here or your energy that is surrounding the situation you got the emperor here aries energy um you're someone who or you are wanting more organization. You are someone that thinks logically here. Um, there is structure and discipline that you are needing and wanting or you are feeling here. Okay. Uh, with When it comes to the obstacles or what are some things that could be standing in the way of you and your love interest. You have the two of earth. This is Capricorn energy. Um, it could be too much going on at once here. There is a need for you or your person to make a decision here and try to consider taking a more playful approach all right in the recent past in this connection you have the empress here um this is a libra and um taurus energy okay um but this in this connection you could have felt like there were a lot of lavish abundance of love uh respect um in the recent past here with this empress you probably gave birth here or you were ready to give birth to your dreams all right you could have been someone who was very nurturing and caring all right now when it comes to your hopes and our fears you have this seven of cups this is scorpio energy there is a complex decision that needs to be made when it comes to your hopes and or fears okay um there's a need for you to do more research maybe you have to narrow out some options or narrow down your options here but you have to stop procrastinating now when it gets when it comes to who or what is coming towards you you have the four of cups here this is cancer energy um this could be someone who feel like they missed out on an opportunity someone that uh was probably bored here maybe this is signifying that in this connection with this person Maybe their emotional needs weren't being met or yours here. Um, but one of you have to open your eyes to the possibilities um, of what is out there or who is out there, okay? Now, whoever you're moving towards, you have the Ace of 
Pentacles, Capricorn, Virgo, uh, Taurus energy here. But this is the inflow of abundance here. Okay. Um, you're moving towards a promising business venture. Maybe you will be signing some important documents um, as well. Okay. So let's uh, keep going, y'all. Let's see what's going on. Virgo, Libra, Cusp, and Love for the month of June. Let's clarify this energy. So, when it comes to the situation, it's time for somebody to take the final shot here. Now is the time. The clock is ticking. If you never shoot your shot, then you will always wonder what if here. Okay? And when it comes to the situation between you and this person, you have to listen and reflect. So sometimes what a person needs is not a wise mind that speaks, but a patient heart that listens. Okay? And maybe that's where you are. You are ready to... To be connected to someone that is going to listen here. Alright. Now let's clarify the surrounding energy. You got soulmate here. So the person you are inquiring about is indeed your soulmate. That sense of familiarity and comfort you feel is confirmation. Alright. But there are some missed chances here. Um that you feel you have missed out on or your person feel have you considered all your options did you give it everything in the end we only regret the chances that we didn't take okay so um when it comes to the obstacles you had uh, ready for love okay so you've been understand you've been understandably guarded scared of being hurt again but you took the time to heal now you are ready to try love again okay so and you are ready for love you you have took this time to heal so don't allow um pat the past to be a hindrance in this connection all right in the recent past you got communication so there is a conversation that maybe you and this person had or there's a conversation that needs to be had here okay about some things that happened in the past if the if the person reaches out to you be ready to express yourself all right now when it comes to your hopes and our fears you got playfulness so playtime is essential for relationships you got to have a little fun recapturing romance with your partner all right um now with the four of cups who are what is coming towards you you got love at first sight here so the sight the instant gratification pull you two felt when first meeting lets you know that this is a soul connection here okay now who are what are you moving towards with this ace of pentacles you got vivid dreams here so you want to make sure you pay attention to your dreams as the connection deepens your dreams become more pronounced and full of answers all right so when it comes to what are you moving towards um you will be receiving some answers in your dreams okay now let's keep going let's look at the situation someone want to talk um you all have to sit down and have uh, this conversation here okay now the surrounding energy this mis mischances chances and soulmate here you got six here passion all right so your overall energy when it comes to the situation you want more passion you're wanting some closeness here you are uh, wanting some quality time okay now with these um the obstacles here or the stepping stones you got surprise all right so maybe you have to let things be a supply a surprise um try to relinquish the control so you can allow things to flow all right now in the recent past here with the communication in this empress all right you have comfort so this was someone that provided you with a lot of comfort uh, maybe you all provided each other with that comfort that was needed here okay um maybe you had a, com a conversation about uh or what is needed to m make you feel comfortable or you know okay so when it comes to your hopes and or fears you got fantasy and seduction here so you are hoping to kind of be swept off your feet you are hoping for someone that's going to um 
seduce you here okay now when it comes to who or what is coming towards you you got this masculine energy that is determined here all right if it's not a male it's just a female in their masculine energy um they determined okay so what you're moving towards you have relationship okay so you're moving towards a, a relationship here all right now let's keep going y'all let's see where where's your person at where's your person at in all of this here that is going on all right situation here all right so you have serendipity they're leaving things up to chance and hoping the universe will intervene and bring the two of you together okay that's a situation when it comes to the surrounding energy um they feel like they've been dealt a bad hand they wish that they met you at a different time because they feel that they'll never get to see what the connection could have been here all right that's the surrounding energy now when it comes to the obstacles this person has to take aim um they have to put more action towards you but it looks like um they have stepped into their power and they're going to take this action towards you they won't miss the mark this time all right now in the recent past here um, you have unspoken love here. So they've been carrying a torch for you all along, but they're unable to confess their love due to their fears of rejection. All right. And when it comes to your hopes and or fears, your person is trying to protect you. They know that you or your innocence and kind heart makes them love you, but they feel they must push you away to protect you from themselves at this time, okay? Because they have to narrow down their options, all right? Um, they could be getting clouded here by the seduction and the fantasy, all right? Now, who or what is coming towards you? You have coming apart. So meeting you was unexpected. You changed their whole world forever. Uh, feeling lost, they are feeling lost as they lose their old identity. Okay, so that's who's coming towards you. Um, and what are you moving towards? You got endings here. So um, they enter your life to test you, teach you, and bring out the very best in you. Now they are part, and your story is over. Okay, because. Well, what are you moving towards? You're moving towards someone where you thought their their part in your life was over. Okay, um, they got divine intervention. This person is experiencing many tower moments in their life where it's helped them gain clarity on this connection. So um, let's keep going. Let's get some feelings that you all share or what are some feelings that you have for each other that you may not be expressing here, verbalizing, okay? Um, so I am planning to reach out to you in the future. I'm waiting for the right time, divine timing, okay? And I want to make things fair between us. I do, I realize I was I realize I was selfish. I do see your value. You don't have to prove it. I get it. All right. And one more here. You taught me so much. I am trying to integrate it all. I'm slowly starting to understand. Know that I am grieving in my own way. All right. So I'm going to get you all some advice. Advice for Virgo Libra Cusp for the month of June. In love. Okay, advice, advice. So, Virgo Libra, cusp. Shuffle, shuffle. All right, it's time for someone to make a decision about this relationship. There are some firm boundaries that um, is needed now at this time. Maybe some distance will help bring you all some clarity. This connection has the potential for sacred tantric alchemy here, all right? Because the attraction you feel with this person is mutual, okay? And I guess let's, we're going to leave it right there, all right? All right, so these are your messages. I really hope that they will be helpful. Thank you all so much for joining me. I um, am sending you all so much love, so much light, so much positivity. If it resonated, hit the subscribe button. If you would like to receive your messages more frequently to help circulate the videos, hit the like button. And if you would like to comment, feel free to comment, you all. Um, again, I thank you all so much. I'll see y'all next time. Bye.